Now let us apply our the knowledge of power in these examples. There is a crane whose power is 300 watts and this crane lifting 10 kg block and keeping on the fourth floor of a multi-story building. So each floor has height 3 meters and this 10 kg has to be kept on the fourth floor. This is the case. Now it is keeping the 10 kg weight to the fourth floor in time 5 seconds. The question is what is the power to lift the 10 kg to the fourth floor? So whenever we say power, you know the power equal to energy by time or you can say work by time. Where the body is lifting up, it is against the gravity. Therefore, the energy is potential energy by time. So this is mgh by time. So the mass is 10 kg, g is 10, axis due to gravity, height, 4 floors, 1 floor is 3 meters, 4 floor is 12 meters, 12 by time is 5. So this is 1200 divided by 5. So if you divide it, 5 to 10, uh, 24 for 40, so 240 watts is the power. Okay, now here one more interesting question. If I ask, what is the efficiency? What is the efficiency of the crane? How good it is? The how do you find? So efficiency, if you want to find, the formula is output power by input power into 100. Remember this formula. Output power by input power into 100. Okay, so efficiency equals to, what is output power? So how much of work it has done? In that, how much of power it has consumed? This is output power, 240. But actually, crane has 300 watts of power. So, output power 240, input power is 300 into 100. So, if you see, two zeros, two zeros cancel, now you will get 80. So, the efficiency of the crane is 80 percent, it is not 100 percent. Then what happened to the rest 20 percent? The 20 percent of uh, efficiency, the 20 percent is energy wasted in the form of heat. So it can do only 80 percent of work. Correct. The next one. You have applied 0.3 newtons of force on a block and the block moves with the velocity 2 meters per second. What is the power? So power formula energy by time. But where is the energy? The energy is not given. Potential energy by time, it is not going up, so potential energy can't use. So what to do? See, P equals to work by time. Work is also called force into displacement, as we know that, by time. But if you see here, S yes by T, distance by time or displacement by time. Displacement by time is nothing but velocity. So power has another formula, F into V, force into velocity. So therefore, power P equals to force 0 0.3 into velocity is 2. So it is 0 0.6 watts. So power is work by time, power is energy by time, power is force into velocity also. Now we are going to discuss about a real application of power. That is electrical energy cal calculation. Every month you will get electricity bill. In that bill mention that 200 units you have consumed or 300 units you have consumed and this is the so and so amount and you are paying the amount to the government, electricity department. But the thing is how they calculate the number of units you have consumed at your home. So let me tell you, let me explain you how you can calculate. Generally electrical energy, electrical energy unit is KWH kilowatt hour is a unit of electric energy consumption or you can say one unit equals to one kilowatt hour. If you consume 300 units at, for month, it is nothing but 300 kilowatt hours. So power P equal to energy by time implies energy equal to power into time. Okay, small t. Now power. Into energy, energy equal to power into time. 
Now you see, kilowatts. Watt is the power. So kilowatt. Kilo means thousand. Thousand watt into time is hour. Hour. One hour. One hour is sixty minutes. One minute equal to sixty seconds. So if you calculate everything, you will get thirty six zero 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 joules. Or simply, I can say. 3.6 into 10 power 6 joules, right? So this is what 1 kWh value. So if you consume one unit at your home by lighting the light, by uh, switching on the fan, or watching the TV, or watching the uh, working with the refrigerator, laptops, computers, if you consume one kilowatt hour or one unit, this much amount of joules of energy you are consuming. Good. Now, how do we calculate uh, if we use the bulb for ten hours? If we use the fan for eight hours? Oh, let me tell you. So there is a house. In that house, you have a fan. Okay, this fan is working. There's a fan. Okay, and uh, there is a bulb. It's a bulb. Let us say, fan has sixty. Watts power. Bulb has forty watts power. Fan is used is used for is for um, say fifteen hours per day. Fifteen hours per day, and uh, bulb is used for ten hours per day. This is an example. Now the question is, how many units consumed? This is the first question. How many units consumed? Let me calculate. So for the fan, energy equal to power into time, and power of a fan is sixty watts. Sixty watts into time. 60 watts and time. Time is 15 hours. 15 hour. Now what we do here? Little tricky we play the mathematical trick because we know that one unit is kilowatt hour. Convert this number in terms of kilowatt hour. After substituting this, you multiply kilo divided by kilo. Then what happens? 15690 900 900, 900 kWh by k. K means thousand. So this is how much. 0.9 kWh. That means you have consumed 0.9 units per day for fan. Apply the same concept for bulb. So energy equals to the bulb power is 40 watts and used for 10 hours per day. 10 hours. So this is 400 watt hour into k by k. So 400 by 1000 kWh, so zero zero cancel, so it is nothing but 0.4 kWh. So how many you have consumed? 0.4 units per day. So total units. Let me write here. Total units so you have consumed is 0.9 plus 0.4. This is 1.3 units. So this is how they calculate automatically. 1.3 units. Now still, if I add more questions to this case, say one unit cost, one unit cost equals to two rupees. Two rupees. Then how many, how much he has to pay? Implies. 1.3 into 2, which is 2.6 rupees per day. Per month, if it is per month, then how much he needs to pay? You know that. Stop this video and do the calculation. Play again and check the answer. So for month we take 30 days into 2.6. So how much this is? 0.1817. So it is nothing but seventy-eight rupees per month. 
that's how we can calculate the number of units you consume and the amount of the amount you need to pay if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus